What's going on guys? Keaton here from TechSmart and today Instagram has been updated for iOS 6 as well as iPhone 5. So there's a lot of great things coming in this update but there also is a few cons. So you can go ahead and download it in the App Store. It is free and it is just a free update. So what is in this updated uh, application if you will? It has iOS 6 as well as iPhone 5 compatibility and that's something I'm really happy about and they're about five days late on it but that's okay. So if you are if you have an iPhone 5 right now and you download an application that is iOS 5 compatible you're going to see these ugly black bars on the application and that's mainly because the screen size is different and the developers need to go ahead and correct that and then update it to iOS 6. Next, improved password security is also on uh, this update. So that's great because, you know, say you ever lose your password and you want to go ahead and log in from another device, you don't have to go through a lot of steps and it's just easy and simplistic and you can go ahead and get those hipster kind of photos. The last thing that is uh, kind of updated in this application is the new kind of design for it. It's a little bit sleeker and it's something that I am a fan of. So let's go ahead and show you guys some screenshots of this update. So as you guys are seeing now, if you go ahead and uh, we move over to the Explore tab on Instagram, you are seeing that it just has a much sleeker kind of square picture icon, grid-like if you will, uh, view. So that's great because you're going to get to see all of your photos, nice, easy, simple, sleek, things like that, and it just gives you a better way to browse your photos. Now one kind of surprise we did see in this Instagram update and kind of a con if you would like my opinion is the fact we do not have the live view filter. So as you guys can see you're seeing a comparison of the two uh, Instagram versions, one running iOS 5 on my iPhone 4S as well as another one coming in on, on the iPhone 5 and you can see how there's no option in the lower right hand corner. So this is kind of a downside for people who like live view filters and they can see how the filters look for each photo. But personally I'm not too big into filters. I don't find Instagram that big of a deal. Don't get mad, but I just I don't think adding filters to photos is that big of a deal for me. So coming to the last positive update about this Instagram application update is the fact that you can log in or sign up for Instagram in a more easier fashion. So a little backstory, uh, Facebook bought Instagram for about a billion dollars, not exactly, but it's around a billion dollars. And what you can go ahead and do is if you are a first time user, you can go ahead and sign up using your Facebook info. Now keep in mind, this is a more simplistic way to go ahead and share your photos amongst your friends. Uh, but hopefully your friends are liking your photos because if they're not, Maybe you need to find some new friends. I don't know. But I can kind of see where they're going here. They want more people to sign up for Instagram and for you to share your photos in an easier fashion. Not to mention, this update also includes much easier ways to go ahead and share your photos amongst many social networks. So what do you guys think about this update? Will you guys be updating your Instagram application to, I, if you, uh, excuse me, if you're running iOS 6 or have an iPhone 5? Let me know in the comments section down below. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, I'm definitely going to be upgrade, updating to this Instagram uh, application and I'm kind of excited to maybe use it a little bit more as I didn't use it too much on my iPhone 4S. So thank you guys again and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.